Hey guys, it's me, Luke James, and welcome back to the YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, we're just going to be doing a quick short one. We're going to be showing you guys how to properly install Minecraft plugins, and we're going to be talking about how you can do this on both server hosting websites, and also if you're hosting the plugin from your computer, because um, it pro there's quite been quite a f it's like, it's really easy to do, but there has actually been quite a few people getting it wrong um, in my comment section, and I just wanted to save me and you some time and show you guys how to properly install plugins because anyways so if you're doing it on a hosting i'm using revive node hosting um to host my service so what you do is you go to the plugin page and you press the download now the download now button will always be the latest version or if your version isn't compatible with a different update you can actually go to version history and say the developer says on their plugin page that 1.12 and above on 1.2 and above and 1.12 and below on 1.2 and below. You can actually go and manually download each version, but I'm assuming you already knew that. Um, so I'm actually gonna, just gonna do this example on my own Obsidian to Lava plugin. And we're gonna press download now, and then that'll bring this up. It'll just check your browser, it'll take five seconds, easy peasy, and you download. Now I already have it on my computer, so I'm not gonna press discard, but what you do there is you press allow, and that'll download onto your computer. So once you've downloaded that onto your computer, you come over to your um, host and you come into the file management. You go home, container, plugins. And one thing, so what you're gonna wanna do when you get to this page with all your plugin folders or no plugin folders, that's why you're watching this video, you press upload. Go to your downloads, oh, go to your downloads folder and find your plugin, which should be at the top. Uh, my latest one is hide item. But, um, my one's a bit down here. Hang on. Here it is. Obsidian to Lava 1.4 Beta Jar. Now we press Upload on... Uh, actually, no. This is the beta. Here we go. 1.4 Jar. We press Open. So once we've found the jar, yours will probably be at the top. But once you've found the jar that you want, you're going to press Open. All you need to do after you've done this, the jar is on your server. And what will happen now is nothing will happen until you either reload the server or restart the server. Now, reloading is quicker, but restarting is more secure. Basically, what will happen is if you reload, it doesn't reload, redo everything and some issues might start to form. So generally, you can reload the server, but if you do actually start to form issues, you just want to press slash restart and that'll restart the server. And as you can see, if I hit that command server has closed so that's fully shut down the server and we if we actually come out over to our console which you could have closed this through console as well you'll see our server has closed and this will restart the server up all automatically so that there's nothing else that you need to do now while this is starting up i'm going to talk about something else that you need to do um when you're downloading a plugin for example uh one of the plugins that i showcased is iridium skyblock Today's video is sponsored by Syngoda. Syngoda is a new and unique marketplace where you can easily find hundreds of high quality, free and paid custom plugins to improve your overall Minecraft server experience. With the help of community and developer feedback, Syngoda is constantly working to improve the overall user experience. Syngoda features both their own plugins and plugins from developer you already know and love. Don't want to take my word for it? Well, why not listen to all the happy, satisfied customers? The link to the Syngoda Marketplace will be in the description, so why not give it a try? Okay, so now that you can see we're at the Iridium Skyblock plugin, this is one of the plugins that I showcase, and this is actually one of my most popular plugin tutorials to date, which is probably why I've got the most issues here. People don't know how to install the plugin properly, and it's not really that first step that I've showed you, but it's more missing the dependencies. And what dependencies are is it's other plugins that the plugin needs to run. So some plugins might need their own core plugin that develop the developers have made. Some plugins might need Vault, which is an economy plugin. And actually a lot of plugins that have anything to do with money will actually require Vault to function. So it should say on here, on the wiki, it doesn't actually say it on here, but on the wiki it'll see that you have a dependency. This plugin has one hard dependency, which means it's needed to make the plugin work, which is Vault. And then it's got other dependencies that go along with it. These are soft dependencies. Soft dependencies are things that you don't need, 
but they have integration and make the plugin work better. So hard dependencies, things that you need, soft dependence, dependencies, things that you should have. So what you're gonna have to do is go and actually search up Vault plugin. And what you'll do then is you'll come over to Vault and you'll actually go and download the Vault plugin. I'm not gonna do that because it's already on my server, but you're gonna download the Vault plugin or whatever the plugin might be that it needs to function. It could be uh, its own core plugin once again. It could be a, any plugin that it needs to function. And it will normally say that on the wiki or the plugin page. So that's probably the first thing that you should look at if your plugin's not working. And you'll download the vault and then that'll go onto your server plugin folder the same way and that will make your plugin function. Okay, our server should have reloaded by now. There we go. And now we can actually jump back into this and we're logging into the server now. And now, if we do slash PL, we should have the Obsidian to Lava plugin somewhere in here. Okay, I'm going to do slash about just to find it easier. <laughs> and there you go. Obsidian to Lava plugin um, made by me. So what this plugin does is if you mess up your cobblestone generator and you get Obsidian, boom, your empty bucket has been filled with lava. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay guys, now that you've watched this tutorial, you should know how to properly install a plugin. So let's just recap. We're going to put the jar that we've downloaded from the plugin page is confirmed to work with our version. Put that into the plugin folder. We've checked to make sure that there's no dependencies. And if there are any dependencies, we've gone and downloaded those dependencies and plugged them back in, put them into the plugin folder as well. And now that we've got those plugins in the plugin folder, the dependencies and the plugin, we're going to reload the server or restart the server, whichever you choose, and then the plugin should work. And if the plugin doesn't work, you can comment down below and I'll try and figure it out. Um, the best course of action is always to go to the plugin developer's Discord page because they'll always know what's going up with their plugin and they'll be able to help you out. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video. Uh, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. It was a quick one for you guys today, um, just so that I hopefully don't get um, too many more messages on how to... Um, install a plugin because it, it's really easy um anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's youtube video. make sure you smash the like button and subscribe turn on post notifications because we're going to have another plugin video on thursday and we'll see you later guys goodbye